of the league. Now, La Liga has since opened offices in other African nations such as Kenya, Nigeria and Zambia. The organization has also ventured to support grassroots football tournaments such as the Guamashobo Games. With me in okay. studio today is a La Liga representative and actually the director for Africa, Antonio Barradas. Uh, Antonio, that was a, a bit of a mouthful for me, but I'm certainly hoping that our conversation is going to go a lot easier on me. Thank you very much for having come in. Thank you very much, Kendall. That's uh, whatever, whatever it's, uh, whatever it's to, to be done. We will do it. We'll talk about it. What La Liga is here in Africa. What to what La Liga wants to do in in, in Africa. Yeah. And uh, I must tell you, La Liga is here in Africa to stay. It's not. It's not to come over here and just do something and disappear. La Liga is here yeah. to. And, and, and that's very good. I'm glad that you started with that because we're quite keen to find out what... I mean, La Liga came in with uh, quite a lot of uh, fanfare about a year and a half ago. Uh, you know, we had uh, the president of La Liga here as well. We had you uh, around and it was a lot of fanfare and a lot of uh, promises made about what La Liga wanted to do once it arrived. It's been a year and a half. Yes. How far have you gone down that road of achieving your goals? Well, we, basically, when we started, we, we did the Mokshobo Games, which is, was, it was uh, first we did it in Cape Town, the, the public viewing, right? Which is, was, then we did the public viewing as, as well in Mandela Square. But our biggest, our biggest uh, event, it was done, Mokshobo Games was done in Soweto. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea, we had there, it was over Christmas, we had the, in the finals, in the finals, we had 23,000 people sta watching watching the Hummer Global Games in Soweto. So what we did, what we're doing is basically doing things which is we're going into the grassroots, we're going in where the, where the people need the most needed. We are, we, over here since you said we've been one and a half year ago, we took time, we imported now 30,000 soccer balls to give to give away, we're going to work with, we're going to work with, um, with the foundations, we're giving to, to Ramaphosa Foundation, to Mandela Foundation, we give in to the minister. We're going to present 10,000 soccer balls to the minister very, very soon. With that, when we give those soccer balls, we will bring trainers from, tra from Spain to train the trainers over here at the school level. Yes. We, we're going to, whatever we're going to do, we're going to do it at grassroots levels. We're going to do it to basically, we're looking at the, at the, at the younger generation to... to to work. Well, talking about that, I mean, right now our viewers are seeing uh, images of uh, uh, the, the El Clasico event that you had, because I think that was one of the first things that popped into people's mind yeah. when they hear that La Liga is coming to South Africa, they're going to open offices here, we're going to have become that much closer to the Real Madrid's, to the Barcelona's, and uh, the El Clasico, this event was in December, and uh, what we're looking at is time lapse of the preparation for that particular event. How did that go for you? Well, it, it 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 went good. It's obviously it's uh, it, it, but it went very good. We we got a lot of we got a lot of coverage. We got a lot of sponsors. At least the people now people now we yeah La Liga is yeah obviously to stay. We had to we had to do things with especially with the with, with grassroots level at school levels. We are to you know we we just brought that up just to 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 to, to show La Liga is yeah in Africa. And uh, that's how we did it. And then we go step by step and, and, and make it happen. Well, here's the thing that, that, that's quite key for, for me to find out from you since you're here is uh, the last time we had a South African player playing in La Liga was in 2010, 2009, yeah, 2009 yeah, to 2010, yeah. Nasif Morris. Yeah. Uh, and since then, there's been absolutely nobody from South Africa, whereas you've got uh, players from other parts of them. We've got Morocco, you've got Nigeria, Ghana, yeah, yeah. Um, Ivory Coast. Uh, surely uh, you would have been thinking of starting there first, or is this something else that La Liga, La Liga gets from starting here? You see, uh, La, Liga, La Liga is not is not into to to do to transfer players to do the transfer of players. La Liga is over here to go into the grassroots and really, I personally think in uh, in ten years time, the way we're starting now with the grassroots with the kids of six seven years old is going to be academies. It's going to be academies, La Liga, some Liga academies going through Africa, and that's where we're going to get the future champions. Because at the moment, I must be honest with you, we we have very little South African South African players is playing in Spain or in Europe for that matter very 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 little in yeah. comparison to the, to the other to the countries of course we had Marcilia as well playing yeah. in La Liga yeah. now here's let's let's try and get a quick understanding of your footballing background I mean is it is it uh, based in Europe is it based in Africa where does your footballing background come from my, my, my if I tell you my I was many years ago as the vice president of Lusitano you are obviously you weren't born as this yes you weren't born as this but of course the people at my age will remember Lusitano we were the first club white club at the time to go and play in Sueto. We did at the time we played, I met, uh, I met uh, 
Kaiser Mataru at the time and, uh, and Ivan Kosa at the time. And when I met, actually met Ivan Kosa, when I met, he says, with you, I don't need introduction. I know you from Desde. So, it's, it's, so I've been involved. Uh, although I'm representing the, the Spanish League in Africa, but I, that's why they put me over here, because I understand, I understand the football in Africa. So you're not somebody from Europe coming here to come learn the African way of playing football, but you're actually a person who's been here all along who knows what the African way of pl uh, playing football that, is. That's, fair, that's very true. That's very true. <laughs> all right. Now, um, the... The future Champions International Tournament uh, coming up shortly, very yeah. few days time. Yeah. Atletico Madrid will be uh, defending their under-17 title. Uh, we we saw what they did last night that they've advanced. The senior team has advanced through to uh, further on uh, in the, the Champions League. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When are we going to get more of that? Yes, we're getting the the juniors, uh, but we want to see if we can get the seniors as well. When are we going to have the LFP being played here? Well, we will. You see, them, those clubs, for instance, like Atletico, Real Madrid, Barcelona, they have their they, they have the agent uh, for three, four years in advance. They, when we try, we will eventually. We will get. Uh, we'll get. Um, we'll definitely get one of the top clubs. One of the top clubs coming over to to play in South Africa. We are looking. We we we're looking at bringing Malaga this year. Definitely, Malaga is going to come and do the preseason every year. Uh, we we arranged for them to do preseason in Durban, and we'll do a game in Durban, and we'll do most probably a game in Cape Town. So that is we bringing we bring in the clubs, which is uh, which is it's more easy to bring them in because Barcelona and Real Madrid and Atlet they have they they have the agenda, have the agenda fully yes. booked, but doesn't mean no one be able to come. We will work in on that definitely. That one hundred percent, Antonio. I'm going to try and hold you to that over the next couple of years because I really would like to see. I would love to. I would definitely. <laughs> I would. I would love to to bring the top team to to really to play every year with the South African. And before team. Messi leaves Barcelona as well, please. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's a quick one. Now we we. One of the things that uh, that I know that you're doing here, I mean, you, 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 you're you seeking talent, you want to secure talent before it gets too old and uh, before anybody else gets a jump on them and, and maybe get them to play for a La Liga club. Yes, we, yes. we believe that's one of, the, one of the reasons why La Liga is actually opening up offices in Africa. Correct? Yes, yes. Uh, look, for, for instance, now what are we doing? We, we brought in last year the under 17 is the Athletic Madrid. Yeah. They were unfortunately, they were the, for me it was unfortunate because I would l l rather have a South African team be the champions. Then we could take some of those some of those champions, some of those youngsters, we will give them a chance to come over to, to train in the clubs in Spain. Yep. That, is, that is our plan, which is eventually to get the youngsters, which is they play, they play under, under 17s at the moment, and then to get some of those players to go, to have an opportunity to, to play, to train in, 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 in clubs in Spain, and to be able to have champions. Because the talent is here in Africa. I know the talent in Africa. The talent is here. We, what we really need... We need what with, with La Liga. He's got something. He's got a model which is working. You know what? Now for the for the for the, Europe, for the European Championship, Championships. Now we've got three Spanish teams. Out of eight, we've got three Spanish teams. Absolutely. For the, yeah. So what, what we do? We we tell us La Liga. What's doing? La Liga wants to. La Liga wants to be near the fans as well. We've got a huge amount of fans of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Athletic, Valencia. Awesome. Huge amount. And we want to be near. Yeah. We want to. We want to plant something, give something back to our fans. And that yep. is one of the reasons we, we really, the president wanted us to open over here and be in Africa. Here's one thing that stands out, though. Um, racism in European football is something, it's not something new. It's been in European football every, you know, every so often we hear about something coming out of one country or the other. And uh, La Liga in Spain is no exception to that rule. What is La Liga doing to stamp out racism against African players? Well, you know what we 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 very we very 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 much against against uh, against uh, against that. La Liga is very 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 strong, and as a matter of fact, if there's anything is anything done, La Liga, I must be honest with you, our president is running is is running La Liga, which is like a professional, pro very very professional business, and that is in our definitely is in our books. That is uh, that is very 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 much. We are definitely with any racism on that. Definitely, that club or that whatever they, they bring up anything, that club gets really badly punished. All right. Now, uh, thank you so much for that. We're hoping that uh, it, it really does stay that way, that uh, it's taken through from as serious as you say it is, that they actually uh, do punish the fans, the clubs, whoever yeah. it is that yeah. uh, instigates racism against African players, because it is exciting. La Liga is extremely exciting. Yeah. We all love watching it, yeah. and uh, we're hoping to see it very soon on our shows and some of our players playing over there. Antonio Barrales, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will definitely, we'll definitely do our best from my part, definitely, and from the president's part, and uh, especially very, very much 
much in South Africa, whatever I need, whatever I need the president to come over and to, 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 to do it, he's, 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 ready to, he's ready to come. He'll be here soon again. So he's, be, he's been coming, since I've been here, he's been three times into South Africa, which most of the countries hasn't been. We've run out of time, sir, and we <laughs> hope to see him here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.